Hi, I'm O. This video shows examples on defining the degree of static indeterminacy of common engineering structures. In this video, we will learn how to determine the degree of static indeterminacy of truss, beam, frame, and composite structures. Degree of static indeterminacy can be defined as excess of unknown reactions as compared to the static equations, and it is commonly known as redundant. The formula to determine the degree of static indeterminacy for beam and frame structure is D equal to R minus N minus C, where D is the degree of static indeterminacy, R is number of support reactions, N is number of static equilibrium equations, N will be equal to 3 for 2D structures, and C is number of internal hinge. Since N is equal to 3 for 2D structure, for beams and frame structure, D is equal to R minus 3 minus C. Whereas for plant truss, D is equal to M plus R minus 2J. M is number of members, R is number of reactions, and J is number of joints. I will use a few examples to illustrate the process of determining the D. We will use M plus R minus 2J to determine the D for the truss. This truss has five members, five support reactions, and four joints. Putting this into the equation, we obtain D equal to two degree. This indicates that this structure has two redundant. Next, we will use R minus three minus C to determine the D for the beam. This beam has eight support reactions and there is no hinge in the system. Therefore, C is equal to zero. Putting this into the equation, we obtain D equal to five degree. This indicates that this structure has five redundant forces. Here, we will also use R minus three minus C to determine the D for the frame. This frame has six support reactions and there is no hinge in the system. In this case, we get D equal to three degree. This indicates that this structure has three redundant forces. Let's try for arch. We use R minus three minus C to determine the D for the arch. This arch has four support reactions and there is no hinge in the system. In this case, we get D equal to one degree. This also indicates that this arch has one redundant. How about if the frame has a hinge at E? Here, this arch has five support reactions and there is one hinge in the system. C is equal to one. In this case, we get D equal to one degree. This indicates that this arch has one redundant. Now, let us apply these equations in the composite structure. This composite structure consists of beam and cable system. In order to determine the D, we separate the structures, cable and the beam. Then we determine the D for each of these structures. For beam, we use R minus N minus C, which here we get one degree. And for cable, there is one exoforce. D is equal to one. Then we sum up the D and it is found that this structure has two redundant forces. These three composite structures have demonstrated similar case where the beam is fixed at one end and is connected to a cable. Similarly to example one, we separate the beam and cable and determine the D separately. Here, D for beam is zero and for cable is one. Therefore, these structures have only one redundant. Example three shows the frame either connected to tie rod or cable. The solution is very similar to example two. This composite structure is built with truss sitting pin to a cantilever beam. First, I analyze for beam and get D equal to zero. Then the D for truss is equal to one. Therefore, for this composite structure, there is one redundant. 
Here you can test your understanding through the given problems, such as for frames, for truss, and for composite structure. I hope you have understand the lesson well and see you again in my next video.